uh, just to piggyback on your roadmap, um, from a legal point of view, whenever I, I talk to a first time home buyer or a third time home buyer, it doesn't matter. We are here to alleviate the stress. Some of these terms and, and the terminology might be, again, over your head and intimidating, mm-hmm. but I mean, we, we've been, you know, the, the 30, 40, 50 transactions a month, um, you know, uh, depending on the volume in the industry, um, we deal with this all the time. And, uh, you know, we've seen crazy things happen and we're prepared to protect you either way. So to just piggyback on that timeline uh, line for George, uh, when you sign the purchase and sale agreement, from a legal point of view, our responsibility, and we get something from George called a title order, so we also order a title and history on the property as well. So to make sure that there's no lien, to make sure that everything's paid. So when it comes time for you to sign the paperwork, it's the seller's burden to deliver clean and clear title. So we actually have what, to share that report. That why is that important for me as the buyer? Why is that important for, as the buyer, say that again? Yeah, to have clear title. Why is that important? It's it's in my opinion, other than the mortgage commitment, it's the most important thing. You don't want to be taking on any liabilities that the previous owners um, may have had. Let's say they had um, unpaid bills or a lien on the property for something un- unpaid. We have to rely on these title reports and look at them to make sure that everything prior to um, you know the new buyer takes ownership is, is cleared. I mean, it's it's very important and this is the this uh, is sort of our insurance this is like fdic on our house right you know everyone sees the fdic sign in the banks but this is protecting our deed the 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 ownership of the deed without other claims against the deed absolutely and and there is something called title insurance which uh we can discuss and get deeper into the process but again not to complicate the conversation and just to to truly simplify things it's a process where it's very standard where um, when George sends us a title order with a loan amount, everything, um, we prepare ourselves with our title examiners in every county to order this report. They do research. They uh, look at probate. They look at several things in order to give us a report in order to work out with the seller side if there are any um, title defects that they clear these things up prior to closing. So, Leo, when, when do you typically enter the transaction? At what stage do, 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 do you typically get involved? Sure. So, as I mentioned earlier, I typically get involved at the offer time. So, you would introduce me um, with George, um, say, hey, Leo's a guy that we use all the time. And obviously, I'd have a conversation with the, the first time home buyer or third time home buyer, whatever they are. Um, and I'm introduced, of course, to the seller side in order for me to begin uh, speaking or, or negotiating the purchase and sale agreement. So the, the first draft is typically set up and, and drafted by the seller side. Um, the burden is typically on the seller's attorney to send over a first draft. And then I beat them up. I put on my boxing gloves and I'm like, I don't like that language. I don't like that one. But no, humor aside, um, my main goal is to protect your down payment at the time of signing purchase and sale. So as George touched upon, he mentioned the mortgage commitment date. So it's really that date that we want to make sure that by that time and that timeline, um, we know and George and I will have a conversation and be like, okay, we're confident that this buyer is going to close. And that's the point, right? You talked about protecting my down payment. Are are there opportunities, are there times where that down payment can come back to me if, if something happens? It's a great question. And obviously, yes. So, for example, if George um, comes to me and says, hey, um, we've tried different programs. We've tried, um, you know, approving this person and removing these conditions. And for whatever reason, if we've tried 100 times and he cannot remove these conditions, well, we would alert the seller side and say, you know, uh, unfortunately, here is a denial from this lender. Um, and we would request the earnest money deposit back because of this uh whatever the situation or scenario might be. 